Most people have dropped a glass, broken a window, or a picture frame, or a mobile phone screen at some stage. The glass fragments are very small and can go everywhere. Now, suppose this event happened in the course of a crime. It will be my job to recover the broken glass and analyse it. Hi, I'm Dr Kari Pitts and I'm a forensic chemist at Chem Centre. Together with the Australian Federal Police and Curtin University, we are asking for your help. We need you to shake it out for science and send us any glass you find. This will help us in our forensic work and potentially help police solve crimes. When we work on a case, firstly we recover any glass fragments from a suspect or victim's clothing. Then, if we find any, we run a series of tests on those fragments, comparing them to any control glass, like from a broken window at the crime scene. We then use some complex statistics to interpret our results and report our findings. Some of those statistics rely on published data which measured how common it is to find broken glass in people's clothes. Turns out that when the data was collected, it wasn't very common to find lots of fragments of glass on someone. However, times have changed and forensic science always needs to ensure we capture the current situation. Lots of people now have mobile phones, many with broken screens. Clothing and fabrics have changed too. So how can you help? We will ask you to shake out your clothing. Don't worry, we will show you how. Collect the debris that falls off the clothing and out of the pockets. We will ask you to answer some simple questions and to send us the broken glass. We'll show you how to collect your samples in another video. Using all the samples collected, we will be able to not only update our statistics to write a scientific paper, but you will be helping us with our forensic casework to help solve crime. But we can only do this with your help. So we invite you to shake it out for science.